Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. Thanks for 186 subscribers. Please get me to 1 million subscribers. Sorry, I do not have a lot of energy today. Massachusetts lately has been having a major heat wave, and so was my town that I live in. I'm not going to tell you where exactly in Massachusetts I live, but I'm just going to say we've been having a major heat wave. So sorry if I don't have enough energy. The AC is on, but it's not blasting, and my forehead is sweaty. So today, I just got, I just got back from Dunkin' Donuts, and um, I got a package delivered from UPS Ground Advantage, which means I got ground shipping. I got a package from Boston Tea Party Museum gift shop, the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum gift shop, and no, they just didn't randomly send me a package. I ordered two items from them because next Tuesday, well, next week, my mom, my grandparents, I, and I will all be in upstate New York on our um, summer vacation. Um, and next Tuesday, the 23rd of July, my grandma will be seven, my grandma will be turning 79. So yeah, um, I, and I'm also excited. I got her a teacup, I got her two things off the website. I got her a teacup and saucer, and then I got her, well, it's called a pagoda teacup and saucer, and then I got her a Revolutionary War general figurine, so, yeah. I'm also gonna get her another gift, but I have to wait till I go to work on Saturday to do it. But, um, yeah. I know she's gonna love it. Yeah, it has been hot here lately. Uh, this past Tuesday, I went to see Despicable Me 4, and it was hot outside. Today's, like, in the high 80s, low 90s, but it feels like 100. I'm not even joking. No wonder why, if you're wondering why the shades are, like, 75% of the way down, it's to keep the heat out of here. And also, when it's hot out, that's what you got. I feel like I'm living in South Carolina or Florida right now with this heat. Like, it, 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 this heat is really excessive. It Heat makes me moody. It makes me crumpy. makes me not want to. And if you think I'm bad in humidity and in heat, my grandma cannot function in heat because she just can't. And on the other side of my condo complex, there's an indoor pool, but I'm not using it today because it's too, I can walk over, anybody can walk over who lives on this complex, but I'm not going to walk over because it's too hot and I don't want to step outside within a minute and feel like I'm going to pass out, so. And how exactly my grandmother's going to open this? Oh! With scissors. I'm going to have to bring scissors with me on vacation. I can do that. We're not flying. We're driving. For, mm, yeah. How am I going to wrap this? Let's see. I might have to use extra tape, but that's okay. And yes, this is the same tape. I grabbed it from the Christmas wrapping paper we have up in my mom's room. And yes, I... I got her a car too. Oh, and you're wondering what I'm gonna get her when I go to work. I work at a grocery, I work at Star Market, which is a regular grocery store. And it's a part of Albertsons and um, I'm going to get her biscuff butter because my grandma, I am not joking. My grandmother, she is obsessed with um, biscoff cookies 
they're like cookies that go well with tea. And every time, every time, whether we're up here at our house in Massachusetts or we're down at her condo in, Paul, or in South Carolina, she's always like, do you, Liz, do you want some tea? I'm like, yeah, sure, Grandma. I'd love some tea. She's like, what do you, I, I usually like, can I have some peppermint tea with some sweetener? And she's like, yeah, sure. Or raw sugar. She's like, yeah, sure. And, um, she's like, do you want Biscoffs? I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. She is so obsessed with them. I don't know why. Um, but the week of my birthday, on my birthday this past March, I turned 17, 2024, which is now, but my birthday's in March, and the week of my birthday, my grandma got jealous because they always FaceTime me on my grandparents are in South Carolina for my birthday because they're down there for the winter, and, well, they leave after Christmas. They leave, like, at the end of January, and, um, I, they face, they always FaceTime me on my birthday. It's been a tradition for years. They FaceTime me on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday, and, um, I'm like, I got, I'm, I showed them the flavors on FaceTime, and I told my grandma there's a Biscoff cookie. She's like, is that a Biscoff? I'm like, yeah. I, she says, what is that? I said, this crumble cookie's Biscoff. It's um, a cookie with white chocolate chips in it and a Biscoff cookie in it. She's like, oh my goodness, I wish I could have that one. I'm thinking to myself, of course, because you're, you, you are so obsessed with Biscoffs. I don't know what it is about them she likes, but she is so obsessed with them. That's all, that's the cook, that's the only cookie besides crumble she'll ever talk about. Alright, how else am I gonna, I'm gonna have to cut some more wrapping paper. I mean, this stuff are good, don't get me wrong, but I'm not as obsessed with them. The cookies I'm obsessed with are crumble cookies. Because every, my mom has a crumble app. I only go on the website. Every week we always look and see what flavors are. And the only, there used to be two flavors that wouldn't rotate every week and they rotate four flavors. It used to be the pl classic pink sugar and the chocolate chunk. Now it's only the chocolate chunk that's the same every week. But why go to crumble just for their chocolate chunk when there's several other cookie flavors you could try? My favorite, comment down below if you've had crumble cookies. And if you've had crumble cookies, comment down below. What is your favorite flavor? I have two favorite crumble cookie flavors. I like the classic pink sugar. My first favorite. My second favorite is the strawberry milkshake where they give you a cookie straw that sticks out of the pink frosting. So good. And also comment down below if there is a crumble cookie in your town or in a town near you because in my town there is it's actually in the same plaza that i work there's a crumble cookie right next to the bank right next to my bank that's really dangerous but it is what it is because that crumble cookie years ago when i was young used to be like five when i was like five six and seven years old it used to be um it used to be a friendlies but now there's only like one friendlies near me. Well, it's in like a town over from me, but you know what I mean. So I don't know if I told you guys, but my grandmother likes history just like me. So yeah. is going to be easier to wrap than this and it depends on what you got in the box and how difficult it is but this is pretty difficult for a box with only two items in it teacup and saucer is one item and then the figurine is another item and the only thing i don't like about um the boston tea party ships and museum which is for most websites except for like maybe amazon or ebay 
I've never ordered off of eBay, but I have the Amazon app and I order off of that. But um, the most annoying part about ordering off the Boston Tea Party Museum is you have to pay for shipping and you have to pay tax and you have to pay for shipping and handling. That's added on to the the tax and shipping and handling is added on to the prices of the um, items that you buy. So when you go to the Boston Tea Party, if you guys want to order something off of the Boston Tea Party Museum website, you have to type in Boston Tea Party Museum. The website will come up. You click on that, you click on the menu, and then there's going to be like a drop down menu that comes out and hit shop online and then you're at the shop online. I didn't know you could order online actually from them. I thought you had to physically go to the museum and go to the gift shop, to, but I guess not. You can order, which is pretty cool because if you don't live near Boston, like I live half an hour outside of Boston. I actually live half an hour south of Boston. So if you want, if you're not near it, like, or if you live in the western part of Massachusetts, it's convenient. You don't, you can actually have it delivered. Would I go to the Boston Tea Party Museum just to go to the gift shop? No, but you know what I mean. I did when, during the COVID pandemic of 2020, during the summer, I told my mom, I'm like, let's go take a tour of the Boston Tea Party Museum. She's like, sure. We couldn't do that until 2021 because 2020, it was a pandemic. And I didn't think, I didn't think the museum would be closed down and the gift shop would be the only part that was open. I thought they could give tours, but they could only like have like a certain amount of people in the group. And I thought we would have to wear masks. Nope. They shut the whole museum down except for the gift shop, which was a bummer, but... When there's a pandemic, I guess that's what you have to do. Okay. All right, I will see you guys when I am done wrapping this. I've gone on a tangent, so sorry about that. Okay, well, Sorry that it took all that chaos just to wrap a present. I finally finished wrapping it. I just put it on a chair. Um, yeah, I just put it on the chair um, right next to the stand with the lamp on it and other stuff. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for 186 subscribers. Please give me to a million subscribers. I will see you guys on the next video and, um,